we're in the last week now. Um, next Sunday we come together again. We'll be talking about what happens on Wednesday morning uh, if our candidate wins or if our candidate loses. Um, a week from Tuesday, a week from tomorrow is election day. You may have already voted. You may be planning to vote uh, on Tuesday. I encourage you, please do. Prayerfully weigh the options, pray about your choice, then go and vote. Um, I wanted to start this week just kind of rounding up the sermon from Sunday. Uh, Jason shared with us uh, concepts of social justice. Of course, last week we spent our time talking about social justice. <clears throat> As we think about these issues, these issues are very, very important. Nevertheless, in Matthew chapters 5 to 7, the Sermon on the Mount is kind of Jesus' thesis statement for his entire ministry. He summarizes what it is that he wants people to understand about God in the Sermon on the Mount. Right in the middle, chapter 6, verse 31, after talking about concern for, for daily needs, food, clothing, housing, the three primary needs that everybody has, he says this, so don't worry about these things, saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Here it comes. You seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he'll give you everything you need. The NIV is a more literal translation. Seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness. Now you know from other places of podcast that Zach and I did that this is the very same word for justice. Seek God's kingdom and his justice. He'll take care of the rest. Jesus says our purpose in life is first of all to seek God's kingdom, first of all to be part of what God is doing in the world. And that in and of itself requires us to show his justice. Now if the church truly did that, I don't think we'd be having the problems that we have today, but we become content to simply attend, simply listen. That is never Christ's call. Being a Christian is not about listening on Sunday mornings. It's about doing all through the week. So my encouragement to you today, seek God's kingdom. Find a way today to express his justice in your corner of the culture. God bless you. See you tomorrow.